What? Who? Huh? Well, I just woke up. I, did I even see Secret Wars? I don't even remember. I am the man you may know as E, and I am here to talk a little bit about Secret Wars. Thank you for checking us out. Uh, this is Our Reviews Will Kill You, and we do have a free podcast to you. It is on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, as well as a live stream here on YouTube. Uh, let's talk about Secret Wars. I'm going to be real curious what you guys thought if you actually watched it. I'll do a little bit of a plot breakdown. I'm going to have kind of some spoilers. Don't really know how much there is to really spoil. Give you a look at what is going on here, but Marvel's latest and greatest spy thriller. I, I, I don't even know what to make of this. I remember the days of Winter Soldier, you know, and that was an amazing spy thriller wrapped up in a superhero cloak. And here you've got a Disney Plus series that is just... I don't know what is going on here, folks. Um... And it's some, got some good... I, I, give me some Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury all day long. I'll take it. Um, Kobe Smolders as Maria Hill. Sure, she's fine. I'll take her, whatever. You know, I've always liked her in this. Isn't her little brief parts? You've got Amelia Clark. I, what is... This is just... It's wild how, how... I don't even know. It's so boring. I can't even explain to you. There is... Nothing interesting about this. So let's let's talk a little bit about the plot as I remember it. And we'll go through some articles and look at some interesting things here and there and see how it all shakes out. What we've got here is a show that fails to launch, is in my opinion here. Uh, this is an article from Space. <laughs> it's called Space.com. Franz Ruiz. All right, Franz. Um... He says, Marvel finds the right spy thriller tone, but the pulse isn't there. Yo, this is barely awake. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> this is this is really bad. You go from She-Hulk to Ant-Man, both terrible. I mean, She-Hulk is beyond terrible. You get Ant-Man, which is just not that great of a movie. People were, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, but that's the last thing you're going to see from James Gunn. He's gone. That guy's gone. He is he's the head of uh, he's the CEO of DC. You're not getting anything from him anymore. You're getting this. And this, while I didn't look up who the showrunners are and who the writers, I mean I caught their names in it, but I didn't recognize them. This is not this is not good. So, do you remember The Scrolls? Because I'm pretty sure if you haven't watched on almost every single little tiny bit of Marvel stuff out there. You're going to struggle to remember them. You might remember them from such movies as Captain Marvel. Remember, she promises to get them a new home back in like the 90s or whatever. Well, it's been 20 or 30 years since then. You've also got, uh, do you remember the scrolls from such films as Spider-Man Far From Home when Spider-Man thought he was working for Nick Fury and Maria Hill, and they were actually working for Scrolls, Talos, and his wife, I guess. Well, guess what? Um, those they're, they're like a whole faction of people now, and they don't like, they want Earth for themselves. So there's a good faction of Scrolls and a bad faction of Scrolls. That's the best way I can describe this. What we catch up with, and supposedly, I, I don't know the comic books that well. It was not in my purview of comic book expertise. I never read these. So I don't really know what's going on. Um, so I have no frame of reference for this. I'm just going off of what I'm seeing. Samuel L. Jackson comes back from Saber. Uh, he leaves the space station that we saw him on. We don't even necessarily know what, we're, what he was doing there. Other than there's a brief conversation between the president and... And uh, War Machine, John, Don Cheadle, I guess, is in this. I don't know how much, but barely at all. And he just says, oh, I guess uh, jo, jo Nick Fury's AWOL because he left Saber. Because he's Saber's supposed to build some interstellar space defense. We don't know because we never got it explained. We have no idea. We do know that, uh, that Nick Fury was blipped. And it starts off with Agent Ross. And this is what's kind of weird is um, 
if you recall Agent Ross, and this is the problem. They seemingly think that you have to watch everything in Marvel, like every little bit to know what is going on. If you watched Wakanda Forever like I did, you would know that Everett Ross, played by Martin Freeman, is in jail right now because his wife or ex-wife, ex-wife, put him there because she betrayed the U.S. government or he betrayed the U.S. government to support Wakanda. So he should be in jail, but he shows up here and he's helping some guy we've never seen before. Well, guess what? That guy is a conspiracy nut and he thinks the scrolls are taking over everywhere. There's some big bad. This reminds me so much of uh, the Winter Soldier, not the, yeah, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, like in how unimpressed I am with what's going on. There's a whole bunch of random uh, terrorist attacks going on in the world. And this guy, this conspiracy theorist thinks, well, it's it's all connected to the scrolls. They're coming for us. They're gonna take our they're gonna take our germs. They're gonna take our lives. They're gonna take our world. So that guy ends up dead. And uh there's a chase. And then Talos, uh, what's his name? Ben Mendelssohn. Good actor. Like to see him again. I kind of liked him in Captain Marvel, just like I like Samuel L. Jackson in Captain Marvel and him playing everything. So then it goes to an intro, which is really weird because I didn't know this myself. It's an AI generated intro. So if you watch it, which I, th I thought it was kind of cool, but very weird, it was AI generated. So that's why it's super weird. So you get this giant conspiracy theory where basically nothing happens for 55 minutes other than you know, Nick Fury comes back on Earth. He struggles with Earth's gravity. He looks like he's lost a step. He's older, obviously. And everybody keeps telling him as they keep reminding us, you got blipped and you are not the same. Literally everybody has said this to us. So we don't know what's going on. It, there's this whole scroll storm brewing, but I don't care. Like there was not enough setup for me to care anything about this show it's just nothing there's a whole scene with this woman olivia coleman as sonia falsworth don't care don't remotely care who she is no, by the way this all takes place in moscow and not a single person speaks russian they all speak english perfectly fine english and they give us one of those like throwaway lines that are like the longer you stay as a human if you're a scroll the longer you stay as a human, the better off you are with tricking people. And you can even trick scrolls and knowing that you can't shapeshift. Because, so that gives them an excuse to keep everybody as humans. Amelia Clark is like the um, envoy of Scroll Town USA or Scroll Town Moscow, where the scrolls can be scrolls. Scrolls can be scrolls. And if you recall, like in Captain Marvel, apparently there was a deal where they were going to go set up a scroll homeworld or some nonsense well the scrolls aren't happy because they never got their homeworld and now they want earth as i, I said earlier because they're like well cat well nick fury disappeared he got blipped and then he had to go off into the planets and do all the sorts of things and then now captain you know captain marvel went off and disappeared and had to do things the villain there's like one mildly interesting scene towards the end and obviously here's a big giant spoiler two spoilers one is um talos the leader of the scrolls ben mendelson his daughter is a member of the resistance faction or terrorists or whatever you want to call them her name's gaia she clearly already she she betrays them once already and that's amelia clark doing absolutely nothing they don't give her anything to act with at all Hopefully they do later in the series. I guess I'm going to watch all of these. There's six episodes. And then big spoiler, which is pointless because there's only three. So far, there's been three people in the show because we haven't even gotten to know who the villain is. Just some random guy who can shapeshift in anything he wants. Well, Maria Hill apparently dies. They could be tricking us. We don't know. But she apparently dies. So that leaves us with Ben Mendelsohn, Samuel L. Jackson, and Amelia Clark, and that's it. I don't even know what's going on. There is nothing compelling about this. 
I I don't this is not this is not good. This is not good. So you guys tell me, are you sticking this series out or is this a giant bomb? I don't think it's gonna do very well. Um I don't even understand the decision to have Samuel L. Jackson not wear his eye patch and just walk around with like his regular eye. Is it because it's easy for him? Was it the only way they could get him to do this? Then the only other thing I would say is let's look at some AI images. It's pretty weird. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what I was looking at. It's, it was very strange. I want to see more Don Cheadle, please. Don't just leave him there. Like, give us something. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. I watch. I cannot recommend this. This is pretty terrible so far. And I like these actors. And I, not that I like the story, but what what is Marvel doing? Can they hire anybody who can write? Can anyone freaking write anymore? Like nothing about this was good. The fight scenes were terrible, terrible fight scenes. Like what? Ugh. So anyway, again, maybe I'm off my rocker, but I'm usually not. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. If you caught all this, really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. But those are my thoughts. We'll catch you on the next one because I'm on to the next one.